we create technical tutorials on various programming language. And if you have not subscribed it yet, consider subscribing just like this. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified on new demos. Hey, this is Supreet and welcome back to my channel. So in earlier sessions, we have seen how to make a JAX calls in AngularJS using a specific file where you know you have a JSON data ready. So what we'll do today is we're going to see how to do it in real time. Uh, we have an MVC application over there and we have a AngularJS script over here. So what we'll try to do is we'll try to call AngularJS, uh, make AngularJS a JAX calls and uh, consume your web service, which is there in, uh, which is built from uh, MVC applications to create an MVC controller and you have to uh, write an action result method over there. And uh, from here in AngularJS, you have to use HTTP service and, you know, uh, uh, try to use this get method and consume your web service. So let's see how to do it in AngularJS, just like this. So we have already written an Ajax functionality over here. We have written HTTP get method and what we are going to do is uh, we are trying to pass one URL which we consider that as a web service and let's see uh, how the records are getting displayed over here. Look at this. This is information which we are fetching from this particular URL which we are considering as web service. Now let's see how to integrate uh, Angular with MVC. So what we'll try to do is uh, we'll create a, a controller first, right? This is our controller. So I'm just you know trying to perform a get method, get operation over here. This is our model. We have multiple columns over here. So we are trying to fetch uh, the information from these columns. So we'll mention uh, Angular app, Angular controller, I mentioned ng app equals my app. This is a module. Now I'll try to mention Angular controller so that we can write Ajax functionality inside the controller. So in the div tag, I'm mentioning ng controller directive. I'll just give it a name, my controller. Now inside this controller, uh, I'll try to you know write this controller function. Look at this. I've already written uh, the Angular Ajax functionality over here. For the interest of time, I'm just hurrying it up. So, so this is your controller, and uh, this controller will uh, this uh, action result or JSON result is a class which will return you the JSON result from this controller. So you have to mention HTTP get as an attribute. Alright, so now you can check this is a model from which we are trying to fetch the data from. This has columns like base effort, total effort and contingency effort. We are trying to display that on the screen. In other words, we are trying to consume this data from AngularJS and then trying to display it on the screen. This is our $HTTP.GET method. So this is our table, backend table, from where we are trying to fetch the data from. All right. So HTTP is a service which we have injected inside the controller function. We are passing the URL of that uh, application which has a controller. MVC controller and we are defining what happens on the successful read operation of that particular service and whatever data we get as a JSON data as a response from the web service we are trying to assign that to dollar scope.cust 
so that that is going to be displayed on the screen so that's how we consume our web service uh, from angular now you can see the result over here whatever was there in the database is gets displayed on the screen with the help of ajax calls so now i think uh, it's not that difficult to make an ajax call from uh, angular to you know mvc you just have to write mvc controller and write a simple functionality which would result in json result i'll show you this is the json result the return type is json result json result is a class again which will help you uh, try to display the result in the json format so this is the actual data what we have uh, represented in the tabla format hope you like it and any queries you can comment me back